Hi there, Internet. Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome, welcome. Please stick around. We have custom-made straight jackets in that corner and snacks in that one. You can't see either corner right now, but I promise it's legit. So, today's video is going to be uh, sort of themed, I guess. Um, and if you can't tell by my face, we're going to be doing green-themed eyeshadow palettes um, or palettes that are just like very green heavy because uh, there are a couple in here that are not completely green there's one in here that honestly I don't even know that I should have put in this video but it's fine we are going to stick with it because that's just how we're feeling today anyway I don't know why but within like the last year or so I have been really feeling like monochromatic palettes I think they're great um, monochromatics with like like accent colors you know popped in to like make them a feasible tangible thing that's not all one toned but in general kind of monochromatic I don't know why um, but I honestly like there are a series of palettes um, Colourpop makes them they're all of their little nine pan monochromatic palettes and I absolutely love them anytime somebody comes to me and is like hey I really love all of the bright crazy colors that you use, but how do you get comfortable with that? I will always sit there and I will always tell you, go ahead and go get the ColourPop monochromatic palettes. They are fantastic. They are $12 a piece and it's a really good way to force yourself to like use a color, but also it gives you a visual of, okay, these are the kinds of colors that can go together. This is what I can do with this. It's, it's a good way to get comfortable with something like that. And I don't know, I just really like green toned looks uh, right now, especially, I don't know. It's weird, it's, it's fine. We're getting into the spring, so it's probably that. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Um, all of the products on this video are cruelty free as far as I know. If I'm wrong, please don't at me in the comments. I will at myself on Instagram later. So <laughs> anyway. First thing, so I figure we'll probably just go ahead and do this by price point. Um, I feel like that kind of just makes the most sense. That way, you know, if you are on a budget, you can kind of see, okay, this is the options that I have in different categories. Is there something that I really want to splurge on? I'm not going to swatch everything. Um, I will swatch a couple of shades from each palette. But if I were to sit here and swatch every color from every palette, we would be here for the rest of forever. And ain't nobody got time for that. So, the first palette that we are going to go ahead and take a look at, this one is one of those that's not completely green, um, but it has enough greens in it to count, I swear. Maybe. Okay, again, like, this is the one that I'm, like, one of the ones that I'm, like, super questioning. So, and we are just going to casually stab one of the shades. So, this is the Makeup Revolution uh, Reloaded Deep Dive Palette. Obviously, we've got some greens in here. We've got some of those blue year greens, which are beautiful. A couple of, you know, we've got tons of blue. We've got some silver. We've got some weird, whatever this color considered is. Um, now, Makeup Revolution is not my favorite. Uh, this palette is about $7, I believe. But you can almost always find their products on sale, either on their website or at Ulta. Um... Now, they're, oh, and Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay is another one. Um, now, Beauty Bay offers Klarna, which is a four-part, so basically you split up your purchases of $35 into four separate parts, and you just pay it off in increments every two weeks. It's really convenient, especially if you are like me, and you're like, oh god, I cannot fathom spending that much money right now. And then you can justify it to yourself later, like, I spent it in four, it's fine. It's not fine, but don't tell yourself that, it's fine. Um, but Ulta also offers something like that, it's called Afterpay. So there are definitely options that if you want to stock up on things, you can. Um, but it is a really pretty little palette, it does have a lot of fun colors. Um, I actually, like, one thing that I love from Makeup Revolution is their freaking Okay, that one's a little bit disappointing. They're metallics. They're very pretty. Um, they're very, very smooth, which is not something that I expected. But, 
so that's another it's a good little starter palette it's a good palette for you to get used to both blues and greens um, and then it's got those little pops of color that you can go ahead and create a more cohesive look if you're not super comfortable with something that's very monochromatic so about seven dollars five dollars on sale it's on sale a lot like their their products are on sale a lot which is really nice the next one this is the palette that sort of got me into like monochromatic I was like oh god I have to have this one and it is the ColourPop Just My Luck so I think that this one actually might have been the start of their monochromatic adventures so this is the palette it is nine pans uh, they are $12 a piece and I do like how it has some of these you know, like this is a green toned brown. You've got this more like olivey color here, and then you've got these kind of mint shades. It's a really good blend of different shades to experiment with. That way you don't find yourself like, okay, this all just looks like Kermit the Frog. So this is the shade 5050. Um, I also really love ColourPop's names. Like 5050, they have Kiss My Haas which um Haas avocados for those of you who aren't me and don't know <laughs> this one is olived and then we are going to go into Mary Jane which is that like limeier colored green and we'll do one of the mattes I really like Mo Bamba I don't know why it just that's the color that I really dig um as far as these greens go and this palette is $12. Um, ColourPop also af offers afterpay. So if you are one of those people that's like, oh my god, I must have all of the things at one time, you can do that. I don't recommend it, but you can do that. This is the newest monochromatic palette from uh, ColourPop. I just got this today, actually. This is the Mint to Be palette. Mine, unfortunately, had a little accident in transit, I guess, and the sticker kind of pulled off there, but it's fine. But the packaging on this is just, it's so cute. They're adorable. Their packaging is amazing, which is probably why I keep buying their shit. That and it's just really good quality. So this is the Mint to Be palette. This one is definitely a lot paler, and I feel like pastels are really going to be a thing this year. It seems like, I know that we're going into the spring season, but I just get that feeling that pa like pastels and like soft glam looks are just going to be the thing this year. So this is the shade Mojito Mommy. Uh, this is Play It Cool. This is the shade Seltzer. And then the really kind of like teal aqua -y color yeah and that is ice cold again this palette is $12 and it's just a really good way to sit there and be able to throw one thing into your bag and just kind of force yourself to use it like hey I want to get more comfortable using color I sat there and there are a couple of these palettes that have been used and abused um I really love the Orange You Glad palette. Like, I literally shrieked in girlish glee when they released that one because orange is my favorite color. And I used the crap out of it. I used it for weeks. Just that was the only palette I brought into my bag. Um, the Blue Moon palette. Honestly, like, if I chose to do a blue look, I previously owned the Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette. And I recently removed that from my collection. And I, because I, I never reached for it. Like, I never reached for it. I was always reaching for the ColourPop one over that one. And I was just like, it's just, it's time. I'm just very, like, this year I'm very focused on trying to do more things that are the product and not the packaging. And Jeffree Star's formulas just isn't my favorite. So, this one is another one that is not entirely green. I actually think there's only three greens in this one, but it's fine. It totally counts. I just had to put it in here. This is the Tribe palette by Juvia's Place. Um, this is so pretty. Like, the quality of their products is incredible. It is so pretty, so freaking pigmented. 
there's, oh, there's four. Okay. It totally counts. <laughs> um, and they're just, they're so good and they're really affordable. And again, it's another brand that is always on sale. Like they are constantly having these amazing sales. Um, like they, a few times a year have like a 40% off everything on the website sale, which is how I got into them. That is the shade Kuba. Yeah, Kuba. And it's just this beautiful, deep, dark, like shimmery, metallic-y green. And honestly, everything that Juvia's Place touches, with the exception of their foundation, I'm sorry, I don't like it, is gold. Like, their eyeshadows are so fucking pretty. That is the shade Tootsie. And this is the shade Sand, which is another matte. And honestly, a good thing about Juvia's Place is their their quality doesn't really, like, decrease going from their matte to shimmer formulas. Like, they're both beautiful. They both blend out so good. They're pigmented. They're gorgeous. They're just, they're good. They're so good. And I believe that this palette is $20. Um, but again, like, just wait a little while if it's not something that you absolutely must have right now and get it while it's on sale. Because it's definitely, it's definitely worth it. It's just, you know, maybe not your thing. And honestly, like, you get so much product. Like, the pan sizes in Juvia's Places palettes are just gigantic. Um, so yeah, just, it's good. It's beautiful. Great quality. Um, and their, their color stories are always really, really pretty. So, even if that one isn't your cup of tea, like, I definitely recommend checking out Juvia's Place. They are going to be featured in a lot of the shop my stash stuff that I have coming up um, this year my goal is to really utilize the products that are in my collection as opposed to purchasing everything that comes out which if you know the way the beauty industry works is every two and a half seconds and it's just like yeah nice things are cool like new things are cool but I have so much stuff it doesn't get the love it deserves so we're trying to work on that now this is kind of a kind of a mid price range sort of thing but it can be super super affordable so this is a palette that I actually sort of created myself um actually I did create it myself um it is a bunch of singles from a brand that I really love it's an indie brand they are called Copacetic Cosmetics this is their little logo it's the cutest their owner is just the sweetest little baby ever. I absolutely adore her. And the quality of her shadows is just so stunning. Um, I am actually wearing her shadows today. I used this shade for my look today. Uh, this one. And then I popped into... This is Maleficent. This is the shade that started it all for me. Um, I got this in a Pandora's box. It's like an indie beauty box subscription. And I got it in that. And I was like... Oh my god, this green is perfect. It is. It's such a good green, especially if you just like spritz your brush with a little bit of setting spray. It is just this absolutely stunning, gorgeous green. Um, all of the shadows blend really beautifully. But this is a shot this is a little palette. I call it the Feelin' Froggy palette. And I did just create it using a bunch of her singles. Uh, she does do pressed glitters as well. Which I really love the quality of those. And she does these beautiful mixes that are just absolutely, like, they catch the light in just the perfect way. They're stunning. So I'm going to swatch some of these. I will also be posting photos of this with the shade names on them. That way you guys know if you do feel so inclined to go purchase these. I believe that a single shadow is typically $5, but she also does do what is called $2 Tuesdays, which is how I got the stash that I do. Um, and she will, so previously she was releasing five shades every Tuesday and she would release them on sale at $2 a piece. And so recently she has been working on collaborations and a bunch of other stuff behind the scenes. So she has been pulling, um, she's basically been having people vote on $2 Tuesdays to bring back. And so she's been using those for the $2 Tuesdays. And it's a really good chance to go ahead and stock up on something that you really love. But she does also offer, goodness gracious, holy Christ, I can't talk today. She also offers Afterpay on her website, which is a fantastic opportunity 
to be able to, you know, splurge a little bit more than you might ordinarily do. And the cool thing about it is you will be supporting a small business, which is incredibly good to do. Now, the one thing I will go ahead and I will warn you about with these shadows is they are so soft. They're so, so soft, which is both a blessing and a curse. As you can see, I've had to repress a couple of my shades because I was trying to pull them from my other Z palettes to put into this one. And I, there was a, there were accidents, but they're super easy to repress. So that's always a huge plus. Now I'm going to shut up and get to swatching. Um, I don't unfortunately have the shade names memorized because I'm a trash person, but that's just, it's so pretty. It's like an olive -y tone. It's so stunning. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to swatch Maleficent because I know what that one looks like and it's such a good green. It is just like glowy and beautiful and mm. this one, I know this one as well because I also broke this one today. This is Fizz and another one I broke. Are we catching a theme here? I'm really bad at this. Um, this one is Grass Stains, which is more of like a deeper toned green, and I love it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop into some of these mattes as well because they deserve some love. Like, oh. They're just, they're smooth and they're beautiful. And then some of her things have scents, which is amazing. Like, the first multiple shadow thing I did from her, like, oh my god, What? And I'm not typically one of those people that I'm like, oh my god, neutrals, they're the best things ever. I'm so impressed. Hers I am so impressed by. Um, she has, or she had, I don't I don't know if it's still available. Um, you'd have to check her website or her Instagram. She's really lovely and will answer questions for you. But it is a coffee quad. It comes with four shadows in it. I depotted mine because I was terrible and I left it in my purse. And it kept getting broken. And I'm like, no, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to solve this problem right now. And I took it out of my purse. And yeah. But it's scented like espresso. Espresso. There's no X in espresso. I'm done speaking. I'm so bad at this. Anyway. But I digress. Beautiful shadows. Beautiful person. And, you know, it's just really nice to be able to support a brand who you know who your money is going to, you know, like big corporations and stuff are awesome and stuff because, you know, whatever, you never have to worry about stuff running out, but small businesses are truly the best, they're fantastic to be able to contribute to because, you know, you get to build that relationship with the smaller brand. And that's really, that's where it's, I don't know, for me, that's like the coolest part about doing this YouTube thing and this makeup thing is being able to build those relationships with people so and finally this is the big kahuna this is very expensive um yeah so this is the melt cosmetics smoke sessions palette it is weed themed which is amazing it is beautiful quality like their shadows are stunning but they are so expensive this i believe is 58 doll hairs which is real spendy um, but just can <laughs> look at it. It's so pretty. And it's got the little wee leaves embellished in it. As you can see, I'm scared to use this, so I don't use it very often, but it's real pretty. I just don't want to ruin it. Like, it's like the most, it's one of the most expensive things in my collection. I'm like, I'm scared. <laughs> and what's really cool is also, like, for those of you who are or ever have been stoners, they are weed names, <coughs> strain names, which is great. Uh, so this is the shade Sour Diesel. It is like a muddy, dark, greenish thing, brown, whatever. This is Space Queen, which is beautiful. I think my favorite shade from the palette, though, has to be Blue Dream. Like, it is just such a pretty color. And I also really like, even though it's not, well, yeah, we'll do Black Widow. Black Widow is also real pretty. So yeah, and it is $58. Um, they offer Sezzle, which is like after pay. Again, incremental payments, so it's only like $14. 
or something for four installment payments, which isn't bad. Like, you know, every two weeks, just don't get Chipotle or skip Starbucks twice. And you can own this beautiful, beautiful thing. It's so pretty. It was like the first, like, real... <laughs> like, I think my melt palettes are still, like, the most expensive things in my collection, but they're... They're so worth it. They're so pretty. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know, guys. I just felt like green was going to be the thing for today. Um, now, my lip color is uh, is the shade Jade from Colored Rain. I really, really love their liquid lip formula. It dries down beautifully. It's not super drying, which is great. It is matte. At least this particular one is. And it's stunning. So... I will be posting the information about where to purchase these items in the link, or in the description box below. If you're not 110% sick of me, please do subscribe, tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your frenemies, and please visit me again next time. I promise I'll have my life a little bit more together, and even if I don't, it's kind of fun, so... Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, do no harm, take no shit, love yourselves. Bye!